guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today thank you for clicking on today's video so today I am in my garden right now and I'm gonna be doing some harvesting no I'm doing some harvesting so I said let me take you guys along so I'm going to be harvesting no I am harvesting some tomatoes and some fresh cucumbers so I have some already that I started do harvesting. I did already, and here already some fresh cucumbers. And so let me take you to the other stands as we'll be doing some more harvesting. I'll make sure you stick around to the end of this video, and please don't forget to subscribe, hit on the bell icon, so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. Okay? So let's do some more harvesting. So um, last year summer my garden didn't really do well especially the cucumbers they didn't really do well um, so this year they are blossoming they are doing extremely good I'm telling you I've been eating cucumber almost every day because every day it keeps bringing out new fruits and i've been eating it and i like combining mine with some cashew nut or some peanuts so i would like to know what do you combine your cucumber with what do you eat it with do you eat it with some nuts let me know on the comment section below let's let's chat <laughs> i might adopt some some of your method i mean as long as it's healthy and nutritious yes why not so yeah I'm so happy for my cucumber and then I have my tomatoes tomatoes did very well last year I had a lot of tomatoes in fact I even had to give out a lot of them because it was overwhelming I couldn't cook a lot of it so I just had to give uh, some to our friends so I gave out a lot of fresh tomatoes last year and this year I'm happy that it's doing very well too so I harvest um, tomatoes almost every day as well because it, it is ripening every day so you can see the one underneath you can see it's not really really ripe but I have to take it out to avoid it getting infected uh, with pests uh, uh, by pests or worms so I just had to take it out then what I'm gonna do is that I'll just keep the ones that are not really really ripe I'll keep them on room temperature or yeah so when you keep it on room temperature it's gonna ripen but if you put it immediately into your fridge it's not gonna it's just gonna stop uh, ripening so the best thing is for you uh to put it to just keep it on room room temp as you can see this one is not really really ripe uh, so i have to keep it on room temperature and let it ripen some more before i put it in my fridge refrigerator and this one too is not really really ripe but yeah that's okay i just keep it on room temp like i said and then it's gonna ripen uh fully so after that what i'll just do is just put the whole thing in the fridge so if you need some tomatoes just let me know on the comment section below i'll be kind enough to give you some and here i'm just gonna harvest my okra fresh okra this okra is also doing well this year last year it did extremely well i cooked okra almost every week because every week it was bringing out new fruits and this one is doing well uh, so I'm just go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest my okra I had already cooked the first batch of okra this is not the first harvest this is this is a second harvest so I used the first one to cook me some okra soup and it was so delicious so I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest it and then use it to cook some soup some okra soup fresh 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 you can see how fresh it is 
very fresh and i observe also that this okra stand doesn't need to be very very tall before it brings out fruits like the rest like the ones that i planted last year this one is okay just a little stand then it brought out a, a lot of fruits so they are of different species so this one is good too you can see it's not tall but it's bringing out a lot of fruits guys this papaya i bought uh, papaya at the store so i ate it and then i threw away the the seeds uh, into my garden and before you know it it started growing into a tree and before you know it here we go a fruit but even if it's small i'm happy that at least it's bearing some fruit <laughs> So I, this is another uh, cucumber while um, searching through the garden. I saw this one hiding somewhere. So, and it's ripe, ready to be eaten. So I said, let me just harvest it at once. So this is very fresh and very delicious. And here I'm also going to harvest some green bell pepe. Green bell pepe. <laughs> searching through the garden I found these um, red bell pepper hiding under some leaves so I said uh, you know what it's time to come into the kitchen and be enjoyed <laughs> so if you love red bell pepper like I do I use it for moi moi uh, my husband loves it he uses it for salad i know some people use it for other things like to garnish your food and all of that but this red bell pepper is so so good it did very well so i'm happy that it's doing well this year hopefully next year it's gonna do well too so here is my harvest you see how beautiful the look i mean nothing beats the feeling of Harvesting your own vegetables from your own garden Organic fresh no preservative This is the best thing you could ever do for yourself So here is my tomatoes I'm just gonna show you everything that I harvested from my garden today all together so some fresh tomatoes the okra oh sorry i forgot to show you guys the habanero pepper the green habanero pepper you can see here i harvested them too and my green bell pepper and i also harvested some chow fresh scent leaves here is it very fresh i use it for my pepper soup for my plantain porridge yam porridge and here are some 
fresh cucumbers very fresh big yummy oh i love the feeling guys so if you have a garden at home you might want to include some cucumbers into your garden and also if you do not have a garden but you're planning to start up one it is a very wise choice especially now that the food at the stores are not really really guaranteed that it's healthy i mean you can't be sure of what you buy at the store so it's better you grow your own vegetables if you can if you don't have a big yard like i do you can use pots to plant it and make sure you get your own fresh vegetables you know this is very healthy and very good for you and your family as well i hope you enjoy this video if you do please give me a thumbs up like this video and please subscribe subscription is free subscribe and hit the bell icon so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified so thank you guys for your love and support so far on this journey i wouldn't be here but not for you so i'm very very grateful for your love for your support for always coming back to watch my videos for liking for sharing for subscribing i love you guys and I'm gonna post more healthy recipes. I do that every week. I post more healthy recipes every week and my harvest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you, give you an update on my garden this year because when winter comes, this garden is gonna be gone, like dry because of the winter. So I only enjoy it during summer and fall and spring. I start planting during spring, late spring. So I enjoy it throughout the winter, oh sorry, the summer the and, and fall. By winter, everything is gone. So, but I do preserve some vegetables for winter. Thank you guys for watching.